G'day, today I wanted to show you a quick outside example of the Godox P600 Bicolor Light. Uh, it's relatively new from Godox. I purchased it uh, here in Brisbane maybe two weeks ago. Um, so far, really excited by it. It's super powerful. I love the flat profile, given that it's a panel light. Um, it's super punchy um, indoors. You can totally bounce it at the, at the ceiling and give a nice soft uh, light. But one of the things I was most excited by was the ability to use it outside. So um, being able to match the sun for interviews and um, just fill those spaces where sometimes it's just not useful to, uh, or you don't have enough time or you don't have another person to uh, stand there with a bounce. So um, this is really handy. Hopefully the examples are useful. It's a fabulous little light from Godox. Um, when I say little, it's actually hilariously heavy at like 10 kilos. So you will need a strong stand for it. So don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below if you uh, want to see any other examples of this light. One thing that's really exciting about the Godox P600 by is just how bright it is. And one of the things I was most excited by was to be able to use it outside, um, given its flat profile being a panel light. Currently it's on zero and we'll, uh, we'll punch it up a bit. So move up to about 16%. Going to bring it up to 30. Bring it up to 50. Now we'll uh, go 75. You pretty much can't look at it at that brightness you'll blind your talent and uh, we'll just pop it to 100%. So you'd probably want to shoot this through a scrim or diffusion of some sort and um, that would be the most versatile use of it um, outdoors but um, if you need 600 watts and a panel light on the outdoors this is definitely where to go. It's currently set to 4600 temperature, just a bit cooler. Um, so we can warm it up. So that's 2800 Kelvin. And then we'll go all the way to 6500 Kelvin. Um, so we'll bring it back to about 5600. So match daylight. And that's at 100%. So for this test, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. The camera is facing north. Uh, the sun's just off to the west, and I'm standing next to a hedge to uh, kind of give me a, a negative feel on this side. Um, the Godox light is about two meters uh, in front of me, and uh, just on my 45 to my face. Um, so we'll get into it. It's set to uh, 5600 Kelvin. Uh, so it's on zero, so look that way. Okay, we'll go up to uh, 25. That's about 28. Go up to 50. You can do all these increments in uh, point 0.1 steps, but I'm just jumping up for time. Uh, and then we'll whack it to 100. Um, you probably want your talent to wear sunnies when it's this close, but it uh, looks lovely. One of the things I really like is that it's, it's a relatively soft light for 600 watts. And, uh, you know, if you move it back or put a little bit of diffusion in front of it. Um, I've got it on a shorter stand so it's only the middle of the lights about just above my eye line um, so if you could get it up and tilt it out of uh, the talent's eye line um, you get, it becomes quite soft and quite nice. Um, the Kelvin as well so it's 56 now uh, we'll cool it down to 6500 and uh, we'll drag it all the way down to uh, 2800 so um, bring it back to 56 
Um, so that's just all via the Godox app. Um, quite handy. One of the things I love is it's um, just coming out of my EcoFlow battery. Really handy outside option uh, if you need to um, use a, uh, a light rather than being able to bounce. One thing you can't shy away from with this light is it's heavy. Uh, it's really heavy. So you need a solid stand. It's beefy, um, but I think it's gonna last forever. So um, definitely utilize a very strong stand. The power socket is uh, simple to pop in and lock in. Uh, and then you have the on off button just on the underneath of the light. So when using the app, you can see that uh, the display on the back will change with your app adjustments. So uh, just playing with the Kelvin um, and then obviously intensity will adjust as well. The app's nice and easy to use. You've got a slider for intensity or a, a plus and minus to do the 0.1 increments. Uh, and then same at top with the Kelvin uh, adjustments. It's just a slider or move it in um, 100 Kelvin increments. It's also effects. Um, all same, same with that. 